Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Vicky, and this is going to be a get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in so long. Oh my god, like it feels weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is just gonna be my kind of everyday, but when I wear makeup, my full face makeup routine and this is going to be in partnership with super goop and i'm super excited to share with you guys this new product this is the super screen daily moisturizer spf 40 and i'm really excited about it because i got to try this before it hit shelves y'all i got to try this out to give my feedback kind of try it before they launched it and i really like it it is one of my favorite i almost never leave the house without it it's an all-in-one moisturizing cream i find it to be very lightweight and it doesn't like leave a white cast it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't clog your pores it has a very natural finish it's not greasy at all so it's perfect for wearing underneath your makeup and prepping for you know just a full glam or even if you just want to wear it on its own it doesn't have any parabens synthetic fragrances no um, harsh chemicals or anything like that you guys know I'm a skincare fanatic but a lot of the skincare that I use makes my skin way more sensitive to the Sun it's definitely more important for me to wear a sunscreen that is going to protect my skin from all of the elements okay this one is SPF 40 so it has UVA UVB blue light and pollution protection a lot of sunscreens that I've tried a lot of the other ones that I do like aren't as hydrating so I do have to mix them with other products but this one I can wear on its own and I feel covered and protected and hydrated so yeah it's just great I'm gonna stop talking about it now but I promise you guys it's worth the investment if you get a good sunscreen I promise your skin will love you for it so if you guys would like to check it out it is now available at Sephora online and I'll make sure to put a link in the description box so you guys can check that out all right so moving forward I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown primer plus mattifier this is a primer that's just gonna help mattify my middle section of my face my t-zone because I do get oily in this area um, I typically don't like mattifying primers but this one is pretty good because it doesn't leave me feeling dry or cakey now I'm gonna go in with my foundation this is the born this way foundation in the shade butterscotch and I love this foundation now that I actually have a shade shout out to Jackie Ina for extending the shade range um, but it is one of my best matching I love it and it's not super matte which I also love because it doesn't give me that mattifying finish um, this one glides on like butter I just love it so much it complements really well with the super goop my skin is just soft and buttery if that makes sense so the combination of these products works really well to give me a good winter skin cocktail okay the super goop gives me the moisturization the primer plus mattifier gives me a little bit of oil control but I also get that radiance from the Too Faced, so we're really winning here. For my concealer, I'm going to use the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. Don't remember the shade, but I know it's some G Medium shade. <laughs> I'll put it in the description box so you guys can check that out. But I'm going to use that under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose just to give me a little bit of a highlight. And I really like this concealer. It's super creamy. It reminds me a lot of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, just uh, with more shades for people of all skin tones. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, yes, so I love this concealer. I'm going to set it with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder, and this is in the color Blondie, and I love this powder. It sets really, really well, and it has a nice finish. Like, it doesn't look cakey at all or too yellow. It's a perfect shade for me, and it smells really good as well. So I'm just gonna use that to set my under eyes and kind of bake them a little bit. Not too much of the baking, but just enough so that it leaves my under eyes nice and smooth. I'm gonna blend all of that out using my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation Powder in the color 174. And then I'm going to just kind of contour my face, give myself a little bit of contour, okay? Chiseling out, sharpening, blending. And I'm using the Anastasia Bronzer in the color Mahogany. To highlight, I'm going to start with Fenty, of course, my little Fenty stick. This is the matchstick in the color Rum, and I'm blending that out with the cheek brush. And using one of my favorite brushes, this brush is from Sephora. It's a tapered featherweight brush. Um, I love it so much. You guys always ask about it. It's the featherweight from the Sephora collection. And I'm using Trophy Wife by Fenty, of course. And I don't know about you guys, but I never got tired of this. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. And I use it all the time, okay? It's my go-to, all right? Just to give me a nice, bright highlight. And I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. And I'm going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I'm just using that to fill my brows in. I don't really have, like, a technique or you know detailed tutorial 
this just fill them in just fill them in that's all I do is fill them in I don't really do the concealing of the brows and all of that anymore because I just like my brows to look nice and natural so I fill them in with the pencil and that's pretty much it I'll set them with a little bit of brow gel and the brow gel that I'm using is the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel. I love these um, for just lifting your brow hairs and giving them a little bit of depth and dimensions. One of my favorite mascaras that I tried in 2018 was the NARS Climax Mascara. Number one, the packaging is gorgeous but I also really love the formula because it's very lightweight. Like it's not clumpy or gloopy at all, which I really like. This is the Milk Makeup Eyeliner Pencil and this is in their shade, I forget the shade name, but it's like a white chalky beigey shade. Perfect for the inner rim. You guys know I like to highlight my inner rim of my eyes, give me those bright doll eye effect. Another mascara that I really loved was the Hourglass Mascara. And I love this one as well. It's perfect for getting those little lashes on the bottom lash line. Next, I'm going to put on a little bit of gloss, just my everyday favorite gloss. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm, of course. I do need to get that new shade, the new pink one. It's so cute, I need to go pick that up. But anyways, that's pretty much it, you guys. This is my everyday winter makeup routine using all my favorites from 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to know any more information about anything I use, please check the description box. Make sure you subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!